yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Z coming at you with part five of our Raid Shadow Legends free to play tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about weeks two to three, so the next seven days, so 14 to 21, uh, where we're at and what we want to focus on over the next seven days. Let's get into it. Boom. All right, let's go. All right, so we completed our first 14 days. We now have our new epic champion, Jizo. Um, quick, quick thing, a note on him. He's a decent champion. Uh, he's pretty tanky. He's hard to kill. He has a counter attack, which is awesome. And, uh, he has a continuous heal with a provoke. So he's a useful champion. I'm not going to be using him too much based on my team. And I will talk about my team right now, since we're here real quick. Uh, so, so far my team, we did get Kale six starred. So we win. Hell yeah, finally. I promised, I promised. Um, he's almost level 60, but I'm not too concerned about that because he's our campaign farmer, so he's going to get to level 60, no problem. Uh, we've got Ward Maiden as our second. Uh, Mausoleum Mage is our third, and we did get Shaman to 40 because as of right now, Shaman's just our best option. She's a fine champion, don't get me wrong. She's just not my favorite, but the revival skill is pretty awesome. And then for our fifth, we bring in Fro Frozen Banshee against uh, Clan Boss. And uh, she might even hold up for uh, Dragon because she is going to help Kale hit a lot harder. So as long as we can keep her alive in Dragon fights, we can get her to that. Sweet. So that's kind of our champion lineup that we're working on. We do have a couple backup champions for Flex. So we do have Aethel, we do have Executioner, and we do have uh, Elaine. Uh, so, so we have some awesome options as well as uh, War Priest. Um, and then we've got a whole bunch of champions that we picked up that we haven't uh, looked at too much yet. Uh, I will be going through them, but probably sticking to this core group over here. The fact that we have Executioner is pretty wicked, and uh, we have an Executioner as food if we need it. <clears throat> now, how do we do in campaign? We finally, 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 finally beat Brutal. Hell yes, it took us forever, but we got there, okay? We can now farm stage 12-3 with our Kale, no problem. Uh, we are doing the run in about 40 seconds. So nothing crazy, but you know, you just kind of turn on the runs with your 30 auto battles a day uh, and walk away, do something else. <clears throat> You'll also notice we actually have some gems to work with now, finally. We've been collecting gems from a gem mine every day, and we did get our 300 gems for hitting 76. Yes, it's a win. Now, that's kind of where we're at. We haven't done anything dungeon-wise. We haven't done anything arena-wise except for doing what we need to do to collect our campaign rewards. So we're still in that bronze area, not too worried about it. Now, what do we do now? That's that's the real question, right? What do we what do we work on now? Well, now that we have one six star, we need to get the two six stars. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We we do. We want to work on a second six star. For me, I'm going to be working on Mausoleum Mage as my second six star. But if you haven't got him, obviously because it's just random, my recommendation's probably War Maiden because War Maiden plus Kale together is a wicked combination. So if you can get her to six star, it's going to be insane for me i'm probably going to get him to five star first and then i might get war maiden to five star then get him to six star just because of these two are pretty good uh together or i might just push him straight to six star because he's insane against dragon he's going to help me out a lot now six starring uh which shouldn't be too hard because if we look at our seven day forecast our seven day forecasts we are going to be getting another Ancient Shard, which is cool, but mainly we are getting a, another 500 energy. So that's a lot of energy to throw against our champion. And we are also really lucky with the events right now that we have an Artifact Enhancement event that has a bunch of energy in it that's not too hard to get to. A thousand points on this is really not that hard to get to over a day of three, like a three and a half day span. So we can definitely get an extra 200 energy here, some gems. And if we get a bunch of good gear, we might even be able to get up to, to an extra another 200. I'm not going to push for this 200 too hard. I just want to nail the two easy ones. If I can't, if we can get there, great. Amazing. But I'm not going to force it. So events. We don't want to be pushing events too hard right now. We're still trying to build our account up. We don't want to be using a bunch of gems on our events unless it's low-hanging fruit. 
Um, and this is low hanging fruit. We don't need any gems to do this. We'll, we'll nail this out just by using our um, our money that we have. Like 1.8 million is probably not enough, but we can get 3 million based on grinding campaign over the next three days. We're going to be grinding campaign for a while. Tournament wise, a dragon tournament does start in, in 17 to 18 hours basically. Uh, if we can get a second six star or maybe magically our team is good enough to do stage 13, we will push dragon. My guess though is that we're not going to be there and we're going to have to let this dragon event go and we're just going to have to be like, you know what? Out of our hands, it's fine. Don't worry about it. So that is where we're at. We want to make sure that we're still grinding our uh, clan boss every day. And now snagging some faction wars as they come up because every time Dark Elf Crypt comes up, now that Kale's six starred, he can probably do all the way up to the first boss on faction wars. So because he can probably do all the way up to the first boss, I'll do a video on it when we get there. Um, you're going to be able to grind some better glyphs and some more, a lot more um, resources for our forge and we can start flying through the forge stuff. Uh, as well as Barbarian Crypt, uh, we can start doing some more work there because War Maiden is amazing in Barbarian Crypt. That's another reason why she's such a strong champion. Um, but we're only doing the ones that we can confidently do. I'm not going out of my way to level up champions that uh, that can't do it. So that is the main focus. We're going to continue to crush through our missions and our challenges. We didn't progress too much farther. We This one we're going to hit reach 30,000 HP with any champion we're going to hit and we're going to hit it with Mausoleum Mage probably because he is going to be our support so we want as much sustain on this man as possible uh, and once we get him to level 60 I think we're close right now if I go check him out right now we are currently at 25,000 20, just shy of 25,000 HP on him so by getting him to level 60 I think that'll be enough HP to hit it and if not you know, I haven't put too much resources into leveling up his gear, so we also have an, a leveling up gear event, so that will be big for him. So, that's kind of like the overview of our week. We're going to push to get Dragon to uh, stage 13. We are currently, we just completed stage 9. We're completing at a quick rate. Stage 10 is a little sticky for us because of the affinity is not a very good matchup for us, even though we have two neutral affinities. Uh, stage 11 might be a little... Stage 11 should be fine because Kale's our biggest one, so he's going to crush the waves. Stage 12 is good. It's neutral. And stage 13 is back to a neutral affinity for him. And a positive affinity matchup for our Mausoleum Mage and our War Maiden. Another reason why I might want to get War Maiden to 50, because if I can get her to 50, she's going to have a really easy time doing stage 13 with him. Um, but Mausoleum Mage is still probably the focus just because of he's gonna He's gonna get rid of all the debuffs that the dragon puts on your your team uh, and that's gonna be huge Wait um, So We are now gonna lay off progressing campaign if if you want every once in a while to go see if you can get to the next set of gems for an extra hundred gems that's great i'm holding off on it i have no reason to push for the sacred shard right now there's no reason for us to grind nightmare out like we don't gain anything and it's really expensive uh oh i didn't finish brutal ha i lied i still have to do the uh boss on brutal which i can do whenever um i can complete it i just stopped because i hit 12 3 and i was like you know what that's all we need right now but we have completed brutal simple 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 Nothing too crazy. Uh, we are now starting to save our ancient shards. We're no longer spending them. As I get them, I'm saving them. We're still spending mystery shards as I need just for food now uh, until crazy events happen. And then we're also going to keep an eye on some fusions. If there's any easy fusions to hit where we have the champions, like for this one, I have two of the champions. This one, I only have one. So we're probably not going to be able to complete those ones. Uh, but if we do you know, snag one of the champions that we need for them, go for it. But specific fusions, I should mention. Uh, a fusing Caden would be awesome. Fusing Fane would be cool. Uh, fusing Barith, I think, is fine. Uh, I don't think we want to uh, fuse Tuhok. Uh, I haven't actually gone over his kit very much, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Anyway, anyway. So, quick recap because I'm starting to ramble. 
This week, we are just focusing on getting our second six star, getting dragon to 13. Once we hit dragon 13, we're gonna start grinding it. We're gonna start getting our four, five, and six star gear from that, which is gonna be awesome. And we're gonna focus on on doing easy events and easy tournaments. Only the ones that are optimal. We're trying to preserve our gems right now uh, because we can't really, we can't, we're not gonna win a lot of these events and tournaments uh, even if we gem out. And then if we gem out, we're not gonna have anything for later. So it's kind of this like, save your gems until you find an easy event for you to smash. That's worth your time. Has to be worth your time. If we look at, if we look at uh, Fire Knight, if I were to win Fire Knight, okay, we would get an Ancient Shard, which is okay. You can get Ancient Shards throughout the game other ways, so that's not a huge deal. We would get um, 10 type charms, which is good. Uh, but the 6 star epic gear is pretty awesome for us, so that would be worth it if we could do Fire Knight 13. And on top of that, we would get ourselves an epic book and some gems and a new champion. Which, are, which is all worth it, but the bottom layers are not worth our time. So if we can't get past this 950, 1200, we want to be able to do 1500 on this before it's over, which we just can't do. We are not in a position to do that in, in the game right now. Cool. So, guys do that. And then I will see you for some extra videos that are going to be more like gearing related or uh, champion specific team compositions. Uh, I'll probably show you my my team when I do 13 uh, stage 13 of uh, Dragon this week. So those are the type of things I'm going to show you in videos this week because we do have our whole week mapped out. The grind is going to become it's a little more linear right now and it will start to open up once we get some better gear and some more six star champions. Much love. Peace out, guys. Peace.